In this code.org lesson, we're going to explore if statements or conditional statements. We ask the computer a question like if path to right. Let's go ahead and get started. This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Ooh, let's get started. Sure, Steve it is. You need supplies for your voyage ahead. Collect a boat from the chest. Got it. Okay, so if I'm good at this, I'm good at normal Minecraft, it will be a great day. Let's hit run and test. Okay, we have two blocks, one move forward. We're supposed to use three. Can I just move forward one more? Let's try. Oh, ooh, we got a boat. We got a boat. Victory onward. So let's remember code is always going to run in order. Boats are much easier than swimming in open water. Head to the end of the dock and hop aboard. So I have one block here and I can use five. Look, I'm just going to try a move forward, maybe a turn right and a move forward. With code, you can always be wrong. Let's test. Up, oh, and so it looks like I need to move forward one more time. Five out of five blocks. Let's try that out. Boom. Go, Steve, go. Yeah. Awesome. Onward. All right. So now what do we need to do? Grab the oars and pilot your boat across the open seas to catch the cod. Okay. So I have one block down. Let's see. That's my fisher. We're going to eat a fishy or maybe keep it as a pet in a really nice, kind way, I guess, for vegetarians. You know, uh, I'm just testing stuff out. So if they gave us eight blocks, I'm going to assume that we're going to use that many. Who knows, though? Wow, that's a lot of move forwards in a row. Eight out of eight. Let's see if that gets me there. Go, Steve, go. Yeah. Yeah. Onward. Okay. Video. Thank you. Let's feed the cod to the dolphin. <laughs> Goodbye, cod. Use a repeat until block to get across the ocean. So a repeat block or a loop, as it's called in programming usually, anything inside of it will just keep happening. It repeats, obviously. So if I put a move forward here, repeat until goal. Well, what's the goal? To feed the dolphin. So hopefully Steve will keep moving forward till we get to the dolphin. Move forward. Are we at the goal? Nope. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Boom. Onward. All right, there's a shell hidden somewhere. Ooh, explore the shipwreck to reach the chest. I see a chest. We got two things here. Repeat until goal. Now, let's see what happens right now. Uh-oh. So I think I'm going to need to turn. But where? Hmm. It says we only need one more block. If I put this above my for loop, above my repeat, I'll turn right once, and then I'll do those commands. And then I'm just going to keep moving forever. Notice I'm still moving because I'm not at my goal. I haven't gotten to the chest. So the computer's just going to make this keep running. Well, wait a minute then. How could I get there? What if I put this in the middle? Hmm. Or maybe the trick is, well, be wrong. Keep testing stuff. What if I turn right first? Let's see how this goes for me. Move, turn right. Oh, yeah. Okay, move forward. And notice I just keep repeating this. Hey, we did it. So placement in a repeat loop really matters. Onward. All right. Looks freezing out there. Catch the salmon, okay, on your way to the underwater ruins. Oh, we can use up to 10 blocks. Cool. So I'm just going to throw some stuff down. I'm guessing move forward twice there. I really don't know. Let's go ahead and do a turn right. Let's move forward twice. Maybe a turn left at that point. Making this up. Move forward. Let's see where this gets me. Please don't drown. Please don't. Uh-oh. Forgive my driving. Think they're going to be three each time? Okay, please don't drown. Yes. Boom. Boom, boom. Okay, yes. Yes. Uh-oh, and we're still not there? Well, so I know I think I can turn right and move forward. Move forward. And that should get me there. But look how many blocks I've used. So let's take a look. Am I repeating myself anywhere? Move forward three times. Turn right. Three. Move forward three times. Turn left. So that should get me there. But what if I say, boom, look at this, move forward, move forward, move forward, move forward. I think I will need another move forward to get to that fish. And if I had to turn left at the end, would it matter? Would it change anything? No, if I get the fish and turn left. So look, instead of redoing this twice to get it, goodbye, I could, well, I could repeat it twice. Or what's my goal? To catch the salmon. So let's just ask the computer to do all of this until I get to my friend, the salmon. And it should, zoop, zoop, zoop going to hit the bottom. It will go back, move forward, move forward, move forward, turn right, move forward, move forward, move forward. I turned left and fish for dinner. Onward. Okay, let's see what we got. You found the underwater ruins. Search the sandstone for a chest containing prismarine treasure. Okay, so I have four blocks here and I can use up to seven. I need to search the sandstone. 
What I often will do is test stuff out before using this just to see what's going on. So it looks like I need to get to here. I'm going to speed through me throwing down code and trying to figure stuff out, which you should always do too. But notice, okay, so I need to move forward a bunch, turn right, move forward. So all I have to do is move forward and turn right. Let's take a look at a repeat because we're only allowed seven blocks, way too many. Repeat until goal, move forward if. Oh, interesting. So if I'm asking the computer a question there, and what I'm saying is, hey, computer, if there's a path to the right, turn right. So the only time we will, well, I haven't said turn right, but I'm assuming if there's a path to the right, let's turn right. The only time we'll go right is if this is true. So the computer will always move me forward one, and then I ask it a question. Hey, computer, is there a path to the right? If the computer says true, yes, then it says, okay, turn right. Say the computer says false, nope. Well, if it's false, we skip over it hit the bottom and repeat and move forward. And it asks us again, oh, still no path, hit the bottom, back to the top, move forward. Oh yes, this time we'll pretend there was a path. We would turn right, hit the bottom, back to the top. So it asks the computer a question, right? That's true, we turn right, right? That was true, boom. Awesome. And we only use five blocks. Onward. First icebergs, now lava. Get through this volcanic island and find the tropical. So I'm gonna start throwing down code because it's the easiest way for me to think. Uh, I don't know how many times. I bet I can't go over that. So I don't know, maybe six of these guys. And then uh, turn right. Well, this is already getting way too much. And we're only supposed to use seven. And I'm still not there. So rather than doing that, I'm guessing I'm going to do a repeat like the last level. I'll repeat until goal. And I'll just keep moving forward. However, at some point, I can tell, look, I got to turn right here. It looks like a right turn here. And way down here, I need a right. Okay, well, that should give us a clue there. We're only turning right, so, hmm. But we need to ask the computer before doing so. So let's see. If there's a right path, then turn right. Now when I hit run, this repeat will keep running. Each time I move forward, we ask the computer, hey, is there a path to the right? If there is, I turn left, because, yeah. If there is a path we will turn right. So each time, every time the computer checks, it will it moves forward and then it checks if there's a path. Only if there's a path do we turn. Otherwise, it skips over that, goes back to the top, moves us forward, and we ask that question again. Onward. You made it to the reef. Now search for the heart of the sea. Use blue and red coral to reach the treasure chest. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I see what they're saying. Interesting. So let me just start testing stuff out. Let's say I'll move forward. Oh. Five times. Always just start by messing with it, by playing around. That's how you figure out your answers. At least it's how I do. All right, I'm going to turn right then. Huh, this one's tricky. Well, I guess I might as well use their hint. It says to use the coral. First, I know I'm going to have to use a repeat. It's what we've been doing. So I'll just keep going forward. Now, the first block I get to is the, I guess that's the blue coral. And what should I do there? Should I turn left or turn right? Well, I'll say, and I'll put it in this repeat because I want to keep checking for it. If I'm standing on blue coral, or I guess swimming on it, what should I do? Well, this time I'll move right, so I'll just stick to right, okay? And then, do I ever get to red? Hmm, there maybe? Well, what would I do there? It looks like here I would maybe want to go left. Let's try it out. So now, each time this runs, the repeat block will run, I will move forward. Two things then happen. After I move forward, I ask the computer a question. Hey, am I currently on blue coral? If that is false, if I am not on blue coral, I don't turn right. The computer ignores this block thing inside of my blue mouth thing, right? I don't turn right. I'm asking the question. Next up, I say, hey, hey, you computer, are I standing on red coral? If I'm not, then it skips over the left and I just keep going. Say I move forward again, I'm not on blue coral, so this is false, it does not turn right, but this is true. The computer's like, yeah, you're on red. Well, then my character will turn left, hit the bottom, back to the top. Each time we check and we respond to if we're on blue or red coral. If we're not, the computer should do nothing. Let's see here. Looking good. And again, it's just going to keep going until we hit our goal, we move forward. If we're standing on the coral, we turn. Boom. If statements or conditional statements are super important to programming, I'm glad we're getting used to them now. There is a squid hiding somewhere in this ocean monument. Can you find it? Yeah, it's right there. Next. Just kidding. We gotta use code first. So let me see. Where am I at? Here? 
well, what if I just start moving forward? Like always, I don't know, I'll move forward, I'll move forward, and uh, let's do a left turn and see where I'm at. Boom, boom. Well, obviously not there. I can only use nine blocks. So I'm gonna assume like I have been, I'll need a repeat and a move forward. However, I'm also gonna need to turn. Will they help us out here if I'm standing on a sea lantern? Oh, well, there's one. Hmm, so if I'm standing on a sea lantern, what do I want to do? I could put it here. I guess I'll just move forward first because I know I don't start on one. If I'm standing on a sea lantern, well, if I could turn left or right. If I turn right, boop, boop, then I'm here. Then I could zoop, go here, turn right. It looks like to me, I would want to turn right. Now keep in mind, this is an if statement again. So we will always repeat until goal and we'll move forward until we get to the squid. However, the only time we will turn right, notice, is if we're on the sea lantern. If we're not on the sea lantern, we hit the bottom of the loop, go back to the top, move forward. We check again. Say this time we are on the sea lantern, then we turn right, hit the bottom of the loop, move forward, check again. If we're not, we skip over it and we just keep moving forward, onward. All right, build a wall of prismarine around the black concrete. This will activate and conduct. Ooh, complete your challenge. All right, so it looks like I'll need to place prismarine and then move forward and then place and move forward and place and move forward. I think I would keep placing place and move forward. Let's see how what this gets me. Oh, wow. And I'm still not placing enough. So obviously this is a lot of repeating myself. I don't think I want to move forward there. It looks like I'd want to turn right. Okay. Then what am I going to want to do? Well, I'm going to want to move forward and then place then move forward and place, then move forward and place. And look, what am I doing right now? Well, I'm repeating a whole chunk of what I did before. Move forward, place, move forward, place, move forward, place, right? So instead of doing that, and what if I took off this last one? Boom, because it doesn't matter whether I move forward or place first. What if, instead of doing all that, let's try something like how many sides are here? Or we could repeat until we start the electricity. Let's try this out. And it goes back around. And so I will repeat this until I get all the way around. Now, this is a great solution. However, there's even a more efficient one. I can use even less code. And I hope you're yelling at the computer because you see what I mean. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that. So instead of doing place, 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 that's also repeating myself. So why wouldn't I put that in a loop? But if I put this in a loop, I still have to turn right sometimes. So there's a few ways I could do that. I could do something like this. I could do a four here because I know there's four sides. So I'm just going to keep, I can actually do a, how many sides? Uh, one, two, three. Okay. So I think I need to do four there and then keep going. And then I can do my turn right here. Let's try that out. And I'll keep going. So this is one way, but there's also the other way. We've been using conditional statements or if statements. So I could also do something like this. Keep going until you hit your goal. If, if, if I'm standing on, well, I don't think that's sand. We just use that. If I'm standing on a sea lantern, then turn. Because each time we need to turn, there's a sea lantern. Several ways to get this. And the neat thing about programming is there's often several ways to be right. It's just if your solution works. And this one is pretty efficient. Not a ton of code here. We did it. Victory. Onward.